Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. Today on the channel we are making something that is going to be absolutely incredible. We're making a lobster BLT. So traditionally BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, probably some sort of mayo or something on it. Today we're making a BLT with the smoked bacon. I'm gonna get some really good smoky flavor into my lobster by tossing it on the smoker after we season it up. And we're gonna make a homemade garlic lemon aioli. We're gonna put all these ingredients together. It's gonna make a beautiful, delicious sandwich. So the smoke is rolling, you can probably see it. Let's get started. All right, first we're gonna start with our lobster. I'm gonna start with this because this is gonna take about an hour on the smoker, and while that's happening, we can make our aioli, we can get our bacon on, stuff like that. And so I've got two cold water lobster tails right here, and these things are pretty beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna use a split method. So I'm gonna split them down the middle and I'm gonna expose that lobster meat on top of the shell, which is gonna help them to cook a little bit better, in my opinion. You could just put them on exactly like this if you want, I'm just gonna do it a different way. So to start, I'm gonna flip this guy around here. I'm gonna insert my knife right here at kind of the base of the tail. Not all the way so that it goes all the way through. You could do that if you wanted to, and then you, you could just split the thing right down the middle and cook them as, as halves, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different. So using the back of the knife and the palm of my hand, I'm gonna sort of just push down right into the shell, just like that. Again, I'm not going all the way through. You see that? Not going all the way through. All right, let's pull that back out now. Okay, next, I'm gonna just sort of split this open a little bit here. See that? And now I'm gonna sort of pull along the sides so that I can get that meat exposed in there. So I want the shell to maintain its shape. I'm just gonna pull the meat out just like that. Okay, so pulling that meat out all the way to the base of the tail. Now I'm gonna close the shell back up and lay this back on top. Just like that. There's one. Let's do this other one. Down with the palm of my hand on the back of my knife. Like that. Okay, back out. Same thing. Reach in here. Just kind of break that apart. Pull that right out here. And just lay that on top. Just like so. All right, here we go. Both of my lobster tails are now split and ready to go on the smoker. With one exception, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning. So today, I'm gonna be using this seasoning called the Usual All-Purpose Rub. It is salt, black pepper, rosemary, garlic, lemon, and cayenne. And it is from Fire and Smoke Society. It looks like this. Stuff is great. It works on just about anything. It's really an all-purpose seasoning. So we're gonna use it today, not super heavily, because we're gonna get a lot of flavor from our uh, aioli we're gonna make. But I'm gonna use it just a little bit, just to give that lobster a little bit of pop. Just give it a little bit here, just like that. Not much, see, we're done. Over here on this one, same thing. Make a little more there, and we're done. There we go. All right, so now it's time to get these onto the smoker at 225 degrees and then we'll come back and we'll start making our aioli. All right, here's number one. And number two. Beautiful. All right, so let's get down to business with this lemon garlic aioli. So my first ingredient is gonna be just regular old mayonnaise. I'm gonna just throw some of that in here. just like that. Next, the juice of one lemon. Now this is, I can already tell this is just gonna be so good. Get these seeds out. All right, there's one half and the other half. It's good on my table, but whatever. I'm trying to just pay close attention to the seeds. Nobody wants a CD aioli. All right, there we go. Just give that a little bit of a stir. Next ingredient, garlic paste. You could use garlic cloves, you could use minced garlic. 
This is kind of cool because it's already sort of ready to stir and there's not gonna be big chunks of garlic in it. So uh, the ratio of this would be one teaspoon of this is gonna be equal to one clove of garlic. I want three cloves of garlic in here, so I'm gonna do three teaspoons, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. One, two, three. And mix that up. Oh man, the smell coming out of this bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's so good. You can see now how it's got that sort of like liquidy, drizzly texture to it, which is what I'm looking for. Next, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Give it one final mix. All right, we are done with our lemon garlic aioli. It looks beautiful. Get a little taste here. Oh man, beautiful. So I'm gonna take this inside, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for the remainder of the time that the lobster is on. That's gonna allow it to set and allow those flavors to really come together nicely while it's in the fridge. And then we'll take it back out when we're ready to build our sandwich. All right, next step, bacon. You guys have seen me cook bacon before here on the channel. You can go find those videos to check that out. But today, all I'm really concerned about is the bacon being the right size to go on the sandwich and not be obviously this long. So, and the bacon is gonna shrink, but I do want it a little bit smaller than this. So what I'm gonna do is take a few pieces out, I'm gonna cut them in half, and I'm gonna stick them in the upper smoking chamber on my Pit Boss Lockhart. And that's gonna allow it to cook and to get that real great smoky flavor. And then right at the end, I'm gonna transfer them back down to where the lobster is, and that way it's gonna crisp it up really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these on, and then we'll be back to build our sandwich when our lobster is done. All right, our lobster tails are done. Look at how beautiful those look. Man, look at the color on this. The seasoning is cooked on there just perfectly. We've got that beautiful red hue to that shell. That's how we know that these are perfectly, perfectly done. And now it's time to build this delicious lobster BLT. So I'm gonna start here with a bun that I toasted just threw right on the grates of my smoker just until it got nice and toasted. To that, I'm gonna add some of this beautiful homemade garlic lemon aioli. Oh, the smell. Man, it smells so delicious. Just like that. Beautiful. Next, I'm gonna add some lettuce to the bottom bun here. I'm gonna add some multicolored lettuce. There we go. Next, just a nice, beautiful slice of tomato right there in the middle. Next, I bet you forgot about it, our smoked bacon. Oh man, this looks so delicious. I'm gonna add another one. There we go. And then finally, that beautiful lobster tail. So I'm just gonna pull this back like so. I'm gonna use my knife and just separate it from the tail. Cut it away from me, just like that. Super easy to go through. Set the tail aside and right on top. Now, that top bun goes on, just like that. And there you have it, our lobster BLT. Man, just tell me that does not look incredible. All right, I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am to try the smoked lobster, smoked bacon, BLT. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right down the middle here. Oh, I love that toasty bread. looks beautiful. Let me show you this. Look just how beautiful that looks. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, it's my favorite time of the video. Here we go. Mm. Holy smokes. Mm. Oh man, that aioli. Man, the, <laughs> the flavor is coming out of that. You can actually taste a little hint of that, the usual seasoning that we used on that lobster. The lobster cooked absolutely perfectly. The bacon, tomato, lettuce, even the bread is delicious. I gotta get another bite. This is just too good.
Did I say holy smokes already? Holy smokes. I can't remember. But this one's worth two if I did. Holy smokes, that is so good. Hey listen, if you can find a good price on lobster tails at your local grocery store or wherever you go, definitely try this if you got a smoker. Even if you don't have a smoker, you could grill these lobster tails, you could make them indoors in a pan or something, but either way, try the lobster BLT. It is a beautiful upgrade to a classic sandwich. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out with me again today here on the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hey, subscribe to the channel. If you're not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Get subscribed so that you can see all the brand new content that we put out and turn on the post notifications. Click that little bell. That'll remind you the instant that we post something brand new. And hey, if you like seafood, check out one of these other videos where we made some seafood here on the channel. I love seafood. I'm sure you probably do too if you've watched this far. And hey, I will see you next time. Oh man, that should not be legal. <laughs>